The woman dressed in red leaps over the barrier and lunges towards the Pope. She grabs him and he falls to the ground. Vatican security quickly tackle the woman and detain her. The Pope is unharmed, but an elderly cardinal suffers a broken leg and is wheeled off to hospital. Pope Benedict has a large security detail who rushed to protect him, but in this instance they failed to prevent the woman reaching him. They help the Pope to his feet, and shortly afterwards he walks up the aisle to continue the service, to applause from the shocked congregation. He's a very remarkable man because he's very gentle in himself and immensely respectful to everybody. And I think he would understand that this was what he now must do and would want to do and would draw on inner resources that I think that are quite deep, actually. He might look frail, but he's quite, I think, profound and profoundly uh, resilient. People attending Midnight Mass heard of the news as they left London's Westminster Cathedral. I'm saddened to think on a night like this somebody is, yes. is, is attacked, you know, a, a most lovely man. It's very sad on this evening that uh, someone, you know, used violence, but um, I'm, I'm really upset by that. Let's pray for, uh, you know, him and the poor lady who uh, was minded to do such a thing. You know, it's hard to understand why she would want to do something like that. It's not the first time Pope Benedict has been attacked. There was a similar incident this time last year. And in 2007, a man tried to jump onto the back of his vehicle. He was unharmed. But papal security has been a concern since John Paul II was shot and wounded in St. Peter's Square in 1981. He survived, but had to later restrict his contact with crowds. But this latest incident again raises questions about the safety of the Pope in public. The frail 82-year-old was clearly shaken by the assault and it remains to be seen how he'll cope with the continued pressure of his duties on Christmas Day. Kitty Logan, Sky News. Thousands of pilgrims have been celebrating Christmas in Bethlehem. Priests and monks led a procession of up to 35,000 people into the Church of the Nativity where the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas was amongst those celebrating Mass. Back home, the Archbishop of Canterbury will warn today that children are being forced to grow up too quickly. In his Christmas sermon, Dr. Rowan Williams will say, we have created a whole culture in which there's a basic impatience about learning. We want to get to the point where we can say, OK, that's enough. I know what I need to know. We don't want to be indebted to others. We want to stand on our own two feet. He'll also highlight the plight of children who are exploited, adding the meaningless and savage civil wars in places like Congo and Sri Lanka, children who are abducted, brutalised, turned into killers, used as sex slaves. To hear of these experiences is almost unbearable, yet the scandal continues.